Welcome back, everybody. So let's go down here, take a look at the catacombs. So haven't done much work since the last episode. So let's head on down here. So these are going to be the individual crypts. So I'm just trying to figure out what kind of wall to put in here. So far I've got a solid wall, and I think it makes sense to do at least, you know, at least solid blocks here in between. So like that. And let's run a, here. So this will separate each of the you know, little compartments out. Something like that. Because I'm keeping them closed in here. Do this. that there yeah I can still hear those zombies so I guess I can just go across like that Trying to make an arch, but not really arch it out. Yeah, so I think that, so we'll do this, and this. So once we get in here, I'm gonna Oops, do that. I don't know where that other wall went. Somewhere over here. Oh, it's over there. Oh, well. And let's do there. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, here. here. They're a little irregular, but I think that will be okay. So I had a few ideas for the actual crypt itself, or the coffin. First idea is just to put chests, but then it would only be two wide, and I want three. Then I thought, well, maybe I'll use like spruce trap doors and stuff, but that just didn't look right. So... I finally settled on this design. So like this would be the crypt and then we got this gigantic top on there to hold the body in. So it doesn't get out and kill people. And the only other thing, since they worked so well in the hallway, Like that. So this would be what each crypt here. So I guess we do the same uh, pattern around. What's, what's the wall? Yeah, cobble. So we do cobblestone there. Normal brick here. Yeah, there, there. Oops, there. Four. 
I do that. Oh yeah, I can. Where's my topper? I mean, they're all going to look the same, but I think that's kind of the point of the crypts. I mean, the only other thing I could think of is maybe sticking, like, armor or something on the walls to commemorate them. I mean, sometimes I've seen where they have the sword on top. Of course, with this slab configuration, I can't put a sword on top there. Not in vanilla. So maybe the sword would go here in, in an item frame. So we could try that. Just a little bit of personality to the crypts. Maybe labels. I had never even thought of that. Maybe I should put plaques on them naming uh, their occupants. Which brings up the other, another question or a new question now. Who exactly is going to be buried down here? I mean, are they going to be kings? taking advantage, you know, or is it going to be ex-priests who have passed on? I uh, wouldn't imagine common citizens, so it's going to have to be very, someone very important. But that still uh, leaves us with the question of who. Who is important enough to be down here? I'm thinking like a king or different types of kings and rulers. So I'm going to have to think up or do some local lore research and find out who exactly is going to be buried down here. And then we can come back and give them names because I think that might actually help, you know, personalize this. So I grabbed a couple of cobwebs. So I thought... Being a crypt and all, a couple cobwebs here and there probably wouldn't hurt. I'll have to get some more, but I did find a uh, an extensive mine shaft when I was over there um, cleaning out mobs a couple episodes ago, I guess. So I've gone through and finished up this, got some lighting. I'm using candles for additional lighting. So it gives it that creepy look, but it's still, it's not too bright in here. I'm going to stick cobwebs just kind of randomly. I'm definitely going to have to go get a few more because this is uh, not going to last too long. Oh, oh my. There's supposed to be a candle right there. I forgot one. Is that a candle? Yeah, there's a candle there. There should be a candle on a stand right there. Although there's a lot of lighting coming in from behind. So um, let me go get my candle. So I just finished that off before I forget. I probably didn't need to do this right now, but I figure if I don't, I will forget. And I'm not even doing it for the lighting. It's just for looks. So that looks... That does look like a scary crypt now, because you can... Got cobwebs. I'm just going to be very liberal with these cobwebs down here. Because uh, that is what crypts are for. Or that's how they usually look. Yeah, that's pretty... I've only got four left. Might as well just... Kind of sprinkle them out. This one has cobwebs. This one's got some, got some. They've all got some. There, there. I think I need another one right there. Yeah, there we go. And I may actually get into the wall. Pull out some of these lights. So it's like here, this lighting is, I think this lighting is too lit. Too lit, man. So if I do it. Like back here. It'll give me enough light. 
because I don't want anything to spawn because that's that's my big fear is uh, having zombies and monsters spawning inside my uh, crypt. Yeah, like that. That kind of darkens it a bit. I think I've got the same problem over here. Yeah, I've got a got that there. I can take that one out. What about this one here? It looks good. Oh, dang it. There we go. That's what I was afraid of right there. Maybe. Maybe that. Let's see how far back I can move that. So I've got that there. Maybe here. Okay, that works. Let's go way back here. Oh, I th that's that's going to work, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, it keeps it kind of dark over here. So I want the crypt to be kind of creepy and dark. Like that. Let's see. That's a little too bright. Let's see if I can... Look at all this copper. Oop, that works. I think I got rid of, yeah, I got rid of, oh, I've got one torch there. Is that lighting anything up? Okay, that's not lighting anything up there. Oh, I do need to worry, though, about up here. Okay. That's good, because I don't want to, I don't want anything spawning up here. So it gets it a creepy dark look, but yeah, so this is right here, this wall. That one there, let's see, back, way back here. Nope. Here. Okay, that's as far back as I can go and still end up with the non-spawnable areas. Well, that works out, yeah, I think that works better. It darkened everything up, so. There. That's going to have to do. I mean, the only other option I have is maybe put like a piece of glow like in there. Oh, that may actually be better. Do I have any glow lichen? I'm sure I've got some glow lichen around here. Oh, no, it's dark. Let me go find some glow lichen because I'm that. I think that would be. That would be a better solution. Well, let me sleep first. Okay, I had some glow lichen, so I uh, bone mealed a bunch more. So we are going to, let's try getting rid of a lot of these. I don't want that. Oh, I'm guessing it's a bit too dark in here. Okay, okay. My point exactly why I need lighting, I guess. At least there's zombies and not creepers. I guess it is a little too dark in here. Oh, ah, go away. Is it sacrilegious to be killing zombies in a zombie, a zombie cathedral? I'm not even gonna ponder uh, that moral dilemma. Okay, that's good, so let's, if I put, yeah, 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 that'll work. Look at that. Yeah, it gives it that creepy look. There's too much light over here. Is there another? Oh, there's another torch there. Let's get rid of that. As long as I don't get creeped up on. Okay. And I don't want anything to spawn the walls. So I've got, I've got a, a two-body problem here. Where I've got to worry about the walls and got to worry about out here. Oh yeah, this is exciting, I like this. Ah, oh, there we go, that's, oh, and I don't have a candle in here. Well, we'll fix that, we'll just put, um, there. A tiny little piece of glow like in there, that'll work. 
I don't see red X's in any of these. I went through and put it in a lot of these candles. I'm out of cobwebs now, so I'm going to have to go go on a walkabout. Luckily, the, uh, yeah, that, um, what was I thinking? Oh, mine shaft. The mine shaft is not actually, not actually too far. It's just like over the hill over there, so. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. Um, I'll put that there. I don't want. Okay, that'll help. So, and then maybe I put like a piece right there, a piece right here, maybe one there. Okay, it lights it up, but it's not too bad. See, this one over here is a little bright still. So we'll glow like in that, and we will glow like in this, and then maybe glow like in that. Yeah, we'll just do this whole thing over here, so, because like, this is way too, way too light. Oops, let's get rid of that. Okay. Oh, no. That was silly. Okay, nothing will spawn back there, but nothing will spawn over here either, so... There. I'm gonna put one there. Oops. Okay, make sure everything's lit over here. That's good. I don't think there's much I can do in this corner because I've got, I, mean, I need to light up this whole area back here. Yeah, so all this is all lit. So I think, I think it's going to be, this is going to be the way it is. Because I think the lighting is coming from that wall too. A lot of torches around here. Do I got any? Oh, ouch. Oh no. Can I get back up? Uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to get back up. Okay, I think I've got this creepified enough. Nice and dark. I could even probably pull out one or two of these. Yeah, it seems to work. Oh, no, right there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I kind of like the dark and gloomy look. And I was trying to hide the candles, I mean, hide the torches and use candles. Candles really don't give off any light. But the uh, glow light, and I didn't even think of that until just now. So. so I sat down and figured out some lore or some history, because I needed some names for people that's going to be in these crypts. So I thought... I would just start at the beginning. So this one will be uh, King. You can't even see that, can you? Uh, so I've got the very first founder, King Crystal the Explorer, because he was exploring and he found this place. Uh, I do have birth and death dates, but I don't know. I don't know if I can fit them on there. Can I? I can't edit those because I'm in a different version. Dang it. I may have to upgrade one of these days to get to the right version. So let's try. Let's see if I just do Crystal the X Founder. So I've got his birth at uh, 96365 and his death at 
96501. Now, if you notice, that is a uh, a long lifespan. That's a uh, so many. How many years is that? So that is uh, like 145 years. So people in this world live a long time. So, so you have this like the second one is uh, Armadu. I kind of went to a like a medieval name generator. Uh, kind of like uh, you do if you're pick, maybe picking a name for your D&D &D character or something. So I thought I was just going to went through and picked out ones that sounded kind of interesting. And then I made up the death and birth dates based on just numbers on when I thought this might be founded. I figured this would be a uh, quite a long, uh, I guess a long founded place. What's it called? I guess something with a long history. This had this place has been here quite a long time, so that's why I've given them longer lives and longer, uh, kind of a long span. Because I think we're in the hundred and eleven thousand right now. So ninety six. Uh, I know th uh, those numbers are days, but I'm treating them kind of like years, uh, just for I guess for lore's sake oh yeah that's hard to read but that's uh although I think I made a typo in it let's do uh we'll hold a torch well, I don't have Optify I don't think so you can't see so Batkin the Invincible who actually didn't live uh oh boy that number's totally messed up so let's fix that so this guy's name is Bat can the invincible make sure I don't misspell that. I have trouble seeing that myself typing, so it's not just you guys. So, so I don't know why it's so dark. I guess dark on dark oak, but so he went from he was born in 96402. And he died. I guess he wasn't so invincible because he died in 96, uh, 570. So that was like uh, 150 years or so, roughly. So I guess he wasn't as invincible as he thought. Good. You can read it now with the, yeah, with the torch. So I've got a whole list of names I made up. I don't have much of a backstory in any of these guys yet, but, uh, I uh, could, and I may actually write a lore book for this and then leave it in the world somewhere. Because I always find that kind of cool. Plus, it gives you, it's a nice little writing exercise, just sort of make up, like, the histories or something. So, go through, you kind of give a write-up each person, you know, when they were born, where they were born, what they did, who they married, what, how, where they, you know, talked about the rule, Add little, in, you know, significant little events and stuff. And then uh, just for practice for writing. That's a good writing practice. If you're looking to practice, kind of do a character sheet on all these kind of guys. Just make up the character and then make up little stories around them. If you're doing synopsis and then go through and fill out the synopsis, late, you know, fill in the details as you go along. Gives you a good practice for uh, writing. So, and But, you know, no one, no one's ever going to see it. I mean, maybe someone will see it in here if ever uh, I uh, bone breaker. Uh, if ever I release a download, one of these days maybe I'll release a world download. Uh, not promising anything right now. I just need to get around to it and put it on the website and stuff. So, but I am a very busy, very busy. Haven't got around to it. Plus, I'm procrastinating on that. So. Because I don't want to put out anything just kind of half of there. Because so. I need to do, you know, probably I want to put in uh, some waste markers and stuff so uh, people can uh, navigate and find the way around if they're going to download it. Because this is a much, this is a huge 
huge uh, world. So just getting dumped right into it without any uh, guidance probably would be a bit confusing for most people. So I'll, uh, so by that is that's how this is this area is going to go. So I'm going to put the rest of the kings in here. And put some more of the kings in here. And then we'll come back and work on the rest of it. But I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.